Today's video, I'm so excited to share with you guys because it was a challenge for me. We're all in some way guilty of this. We continue to buy, 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 especially because we're bombarded with ads telling us what to buy. And we're also just chasing trends every season. And I feel like we end up with a closet full of items, but not really anything to wear. Hi everybody, Co Styles here, your stylist friend. And for those of you who are new, I help you create easy, chic outfit ideas for your everyday wear. A lot of us struggle with buying so many items for our closet and not knowing how to fully utilize them. So I really wanted to stretch that idea and utilize one item to create numerous outfits. And I just finished filming it and I'm proud to say I think I have over 10 for sure just using one item. So I created a range of looks anywhere from casual to even festive holiday looks just using this one item. And not to spoil the surprise, but I'm currently wearing the piece. This cardigan sweater makes it perfect for a standalone piece as much as a layering piece. The reason why I created so many different styles and looks off of this one item is that I really wanted you guys to see the potential of a great staple piece, but I also wanted you guys to to pick and choose um, accordingly to your personal style. This piece is specifically from Uniqlo. Product name is called the Knitted Short Cardigan, and it comes in four different colors, off-white, black, blue, and this beautiful gray heather color. These four colorways are such basic and great neutrals that honestly, any of the outfits that I created today can be replaced by any of these colors, and I think it would still work perfectly fine. And below in the description, I will link you guys to all of my socials, as well as LTK link, which allows you to shop the outfits that were shown today, whether it be the exact same item or similar items. I usually try to pick one to three items that look very similar of different price ranges so that you guys are able to navigate that um, to best fit your lifestyle. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And here is the first outfit. I'm starting out the video with two pieces that I think most of us have in our closet already, which is a crisp white t-shirt and a pair of jeans. In terms of colors of the jeans for this look, I would definitely try to find a lighter share, shade of green green <laughs> lighter shade of blue mainly because there's something so beautiful about heathered gray against this light shade of blue it almost acts as a like a pop of color to this entire outfit and as someone who's been searching high and low to find the perfect white t-shirt that's high quality sturdy and almost beefy i think i definitely found the one and this is also from uniqlo and at this point you may think i'm some ambassador for uniqlo but they just really have good basic pieces. As for accessories, I'm adding some pops of colors with this Nikes. Love the shade of yellow, kind of bringing more of like the fun and casual element of this outfit. As for the bag, this is actually like a crochet material bag from the sack. Love that it has a zipper, kind of like it's like a safety assurance for when I'm walking around the city. But overall, such a good look for like a casual outing with friends or just running errands. We're on to outfit two. So what I'm changing about this look is I'm putting my hair up, <laughs> clearly. But mainly, I wanted to show you guys the cardigan and how it looks when it's buttoned up all the way. So the thing that I love about this cardigan or the shape of cardigan per se is that when you close it up, it kind of looks like just a sweater on its own. Whereas like some other cardigans that are like deep V shaped in the front or the neckline, it just kind of looks like a cardigan. So I love that when it's buttoned up, it literally just looks like a normal sweater with the button details. And in this case, the t-shirt kind of plays like a pop of brightness to your look. It kind of adds a little break between your torso and your legs. And as for shoes, I'm keeping it classy with some flats. Um, it could either be a loafer, like the ones that I'm wearing right now. Anything leather um, definitely will look beautiful against the black buttons. And in this case, I try to match some of the hardwares in our my accessories, whether it be like the gold elements in the purse or the shoes, back into the jewelry that I'm wearing. And just like that, by switching into a darker shade of denim, as well as adding some accessories with gold hardwares, I think I was able to elevate this look entirely, which really speaks to how versatile this cardigan slash sweater can really be. And also wanted to show you guys an alternative option for flats. In this case, I'm wearing my Mary Janes. I'm starting to see Mary Janes become more popular and trendier, but it's such a classic and timeless piece. And honestly, how cute are those straps? 
And for my next outfit, outfit number three, I'm bringing in one of my favorite pieces, which is this sweater vest. I love that. You can kind of dress it up, dress it down, and just with a pair of t-shirt, it just makes it look so put together. And in this case, I'm using the cardigan as a layering piece, and I love the different shades of gray that this outfit is bringing together. And as for the entire look, I wanted to kind of bring out the casual elements of the outfit the most. So I'm really doing that with my Dickies brown pants and a pair of Nikes. I did a whole video around these Dickies because it is men's and for a while while they were trending, they also had this like trending look of like folding the belt layer or like I guess the waistband layer to show the actual Dickies. So I did a whole video on like the sizing, you know, what colors to get and different outfit combinations using these pants if you wanted to check it out as well. But overall, really big fan of this outfit. I can definitely see myself wearing this like running errands to go hang out with friends. And honestly, back in college, I feel like this would have been like my go-to outfits. I just happen to love very androgynous looks. I love how fluid it is and how casual and comfortable it is. So now let's switch our gears a little bit for a more office friendly outfit and in this case this is something that I religiously wear um, just a nice turtleneck with a pair of good trousers these pants are actually from Uniqlo as well they're the ones that trended on TikTok a while ago and there's definitely a theme here I love Uniqlo I'm heavily influenced by TikTok but I will definitely say these were a good purchase you know they're called the wide pleated pants oh also here's my cat making her main character entrance but these pants are super comfortable true to size and i feel like the pleats stayed quite well and held up well over the course of washes so i think those add definitely an element of like chic and clean and elegance to this look and to add a pop of color i'm actually going with this brown crossbody bag that i got from express years ago um, but overall gray and brown makes such a great mix and i will definitely say monotone outfits just brings extra level of elegance to any look and it just makes the outfit look very cohesive together and i would just say the only watch out when you are mixing the same shades of things definitely make sure that they are you know of the same tone whether it be warm or cool tone so there can be different varieties even within the same color and for this look it's kind of like i would like to say like a girl's night out or a happy hour outfit so underneath i'm wearing my abercrombie bodysuit um, which is so silky to touch and just like snatches the body very well and then on the bottom i'm wearing kind of like these leather pair of skinnies i wouldn't necessarily quite call them skinnies they're more like narrow leg pants um, but overall i'm only buttoning the top of the cardigan to kind of expose that little like chest area i think that kind of opens up this outfit a little bit more and in terms of accessories definitely adding a little bit of like dazzle here with the golden shoes with the strap details and my Poland bag i love matching hardwares when it comes to bringing the outfits together as well as definitely adding a consistency in the gold and silver throughout my accessories and shoes as well and at this point you've seen this cardigan paired up with a pair of jeans all the way to leather pants i really think the texture and the construction of the cardigan really lends itself to any type of looks and it's super Personal. And for outfit six, I'm bringing in this skirt. So I'm keeping the bodysuit, but just swapping out the bottom for any flowy black skirt you may have. And since it's black on black, um, the inside bodysuit is really just for a layering piece. And I really channeled my inner Blair Waldorf for this look. Um, super preppy, yet really classic. And as for shoes, I'm wearing these Coach Combat boots. I think it adds an element of grunge to this rather preppier look. And as for, as for head accessories, I know bows are kind of making a comeback. I've always loved the way that headbands looked with any outfits. And also always try to incorporate some pops of colors, um, especially because I have black hair. I really feel like the red does a good job of that um, and adds a little bit of color to this outfit. And I'm wearing my Charles, Charles and Keith um, handbag. I think it's such a good like just 
addition to this look um, i love it it's like such a chef's kiss when the hardware is on the shoes match the hardware is on the bag so mission accomplished there so outfit seven um similar look with just a different head accessory so i also swapped out the skirt for a midi satin skirt and swapping out the bag to another classic charles and keith bag but it's a crossbody so in this case i'm keeping everything else relatively the same but you'll notice how the beret um, matches the color of the accessories so if you're struggling to kind of accessorize your looks i will definitely say that's like the cheat code for making it super easy for yourself and another way to keep more color and tone balance throughout your entire outfit is to keep the top half of your body consistent and the bottom half of your body consistent so in my top half here i'm wearing cream colored accessories and in the bottom i'm pairing the black boots with the black skirt so this is just like a very easy way for you, you to look coarse coordinated and coordinate your outfits with accessories now we're down to the last two outfits so let's get it i'm wearing my favorite band tee not to be mistaken with my favorite band tee um, the difference being that acdc is not my favorite band but this band tee is my favorite so definitely don't come at me with some ACDC trivia questions um, because I definitely will not know the answer to those, but I do really like a couple of their songs. So I think that qualifies me as a shirt wearer. This outfit has definitely been one of my ultimate favorite this month. I think I've already worn this combination at least four times this month. And that's the good thing about outfit combinations. It's like once you have it figured out, you just got to rinse and repeat. Um, and what's also cool about this outfit is that it's super duper simple. It's just a pair of t-shirt, you know, a graphic t-shirt or a band t-shirt paired up with a denim skirt. And what's better than long denim skirt in the colder seasons? Um, really there's a lot of things that are better but you know just just figure of speech also did a whole video around these skirts um how to style long denim skirts i styled this one as well as a gray washed one so if you would like to see different ways to coordinate them definitely check that video out it'll be linked down below and hopefully up in the right corner of your screen right now and to wrap up the video i put together a festive holiday look because this the season to be jolly so think sequins, sparkle, glitter, or anything that shines. And in this case, I'm wearing a metallic skirt that really pairs up with this cardigan well. And I think in terms of this gray cardigan, I would suggest anything within the gold shade or silver or even a black shade that really shines. And what's really cool about this sweater that I mentioned back in outfit two is that once you button it up, it really just looks like a crew neck sweater with some buttons in the front. So I'm wearing it how I normally would wear my crew neck sweaters, which is with a white button down long sleeve. And I decided to pop out the colors to make it look like a Peter Pan collar. In terms of accessories, I'm wearing a black beret and my Karl Lagerfeld tweed crossbody bag that I also like to wear it as a shoulder bag by just pulling on the chains. As for shoes, I'm wearing my knee-high suede boots from Sam Edelman. And this shade of brown is such a great addition of warmth and sophistication to this look and i love that it adds a little bit more dimension to an all gray outfit so there you have it a fun festive look for any holiday parties whether it be at the office or just with your friends and that's it for the video i feel like i'm doing so many jazz hands throughout this video so i'm just gonna just put it right here in front of me i had so much fun creating it hopefully this video finds you in time for you to fully maximize your closet for this fall and winter season. Let me know in the chat below, on the chat. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video. Are there any things that you would like to see in the future videos? Always happy to connect and hear what you guys have to say. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.